I'm in the autopsy application doing computer forensics, and I did a couple of videos on doing installation as well as how to create a case, which you can check out in this playlist. So now under extracted content, we're going to be moving down the list to recycle bin. We covered all the ones above it, and we can see all the things that were deleted by the user. You can see text files, executables, PowerPoint, all different kinds of files. And if I pick a file, for instance, and we can see the results here, there's the path to that file where it was originally created. There was the day and time it was deleted and who deleted it. You can also see the recycle bin source path as well. If I go over to file metadata, it gives us pretty much the same information, but just in a little more friendly type of a version. And then under application, if it has an application to it, then you'll be able to see it. So for instance, if it could see this JPEG, then it would show the picture itself. But I'm going to show you another way where you could see that. Then we have nothing under text and under hex uh, on, on a different video, I actually showed you how to convert hex to ASCII, which is just, you know, letters and numbers, but you can see on the right hand side, some of that information here as well. So in this case, you can see it was taken on an Android phone and the model was made by Asus. So if I go to the file itself, we can see all the different files that were deleted into the recycle bin, I can right click and choose a lot of different information. And one of those is open in an external viewer. So if I do that, then we can see that, hey, there's a picture. Let's take a look at an HTM document. I'm gonna right click and do the same thing, open an external viewer. So that way you can see all the different uh, files if you want to, if you, as long as you have the application. So for instance, here's an executable. So I'm not gonna just be able to uh, right click and open that because it's not a type of file I can associate it with. But uh, same thing with a PowerPoint. If I don't have PowerPoint installed on the computer, I can't open it here. However, I can uh, copy this file out to another computer that does have it. Other information I can find is if I right click and choose properties, I can get pretty much the same information we saw earlier, but there is a little bit more in there as well. And if I right click again, I can see view results and timeline. So what this does is it shows me when the particular document was created and what was created at about the same time. Here we can see, we can show up to one minute. We can show year, month, day. We can change the amount of minutes, etc. So what else happened at about that time with this file? Another interesting thing I can do is if I right click on it, I can choose to extract the file. Now this is not the same as extracting a zip file, for instance. This is just extracting the file out of the virtual hard drive and onto my physical hard drive. So I'll just choose the desktop, click save, file extracted, and there's my file. So I'll go ahead and double click on it. And there it is. It's not a very exciting file, but it just gives you an idea. You can pull that data out without breaking the chain of custody by altering the original drive. And of course, you can always make a note about the file by adding a file tag. You can add in a bookmark, a notable item, and others. So that's how you take a look at the recycle bin, extract the data, and view what's in that recycle bin using the autopsy application.